Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 29th of May 2019. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. OK, let's kick off with a look at the overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, relatively quiet as far as uh, majors were concerned on the global foreign exchanges yesterday. Uh, modest moves in both uh, the euro and the pound sterling and similar story or a similar story I should say in uh, the antipodes with the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar likely unchanged on the session. There was a bit of continuing pushback from some of the safe haven currencies. We can see here the Japanese yen advancing modestly uh, against uh, the US dollar to trade at 109.27 uh, shortly before we recorded the video. Though that small gain last night was part of a, a wider uh, weekly and monthly move and it's a similar story uh, from the Swiss franc which was up by around 0.12% against the US dollar uh, in Asian trade uh, adding to its weekly and indeed monthly gains. The Indian rupee however was on the back foot uh, against the US dollar down by 0.22% overnight. Um, elsewhere uh, the South African round which had suffered yesterday uh, and indeed on Monday against uh, the US currency found its footing uh, rallying by around 0.17% against the US dollar. However, uh, the rand is still trading at 1470.24 shortly before we recorded the video. And indeed, if we look uh, to the right here, we can see that the weekly and monthly gains uh, and indeed the yearly gains that the dollar has exerted uh, suggest that uh, there could be more uh, weakness in the rand to come. Speaking of weakness, a bit of profit taking uh, was evident yesterday in both Bitcoin and Ether after their recent uh, good runs. OK, what's on the calendar today then? Events that may move the markets. Uh, a pretty compact calendar, uh, but there are still some uh, key points to bring to your attention. We've already had uh, speeches by uh, the Bank of Japan's Governor Kuroda and the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's Governor Orr. And it's a central bank speech that kicks off uh, today's proceedings at 0700 hours GMT, I should say. We'll hear from German Bundesbank President Jens Wiedmann. Mr Wiedmann, of course, is one of the front runners uh, to replace Mario Draghi when his term uh, comes to an end in October. And the horse trading uh, for the top jobs in the uh, EU is ongoing as of now in Brussels. At 7am as well, we shall have a data out of Switzerland in the form of the KOF leading indicator data for the month of May. And then at 0730 GMT, we shall have our second uh, central bank of speech of the European session, and this from the ECB board member Mersch. At 0755, we're back in Germany for unemployment data, both the rate and the outright change for the month of May. And then back across the border to Switzerland at 0800 for the ZEW survey expectations data for the month of May there. We pause then until 1400, crossing over the Atlantic to Canada uh, for the pick of the day's releases. And this is the Bank of Canada rate statement and interest rate decision. Uh, at the moment, the expectation is for the bank to do nothing, but it'll be interesting to see what Governor Pollos and his colleagues have to say about their future intentions. We pause then after that Canadian data uh, until 2245, crossing over the Pacific uh, to New Zealand for building permits data for the month of April. And finally, to round off proceedings tonight at 2350, uh, we move on to Japan for the foreign investment in Japanese stocks data for the week of May 24th. OK, breaking news and comment then that's caught my eye overnight. And first of all, the trade war appears to be heating up as Beijing threatens to limit supplies to the US of so-called rare earth minerals, uh, which are essential to uh, most modern consumer electronics. China, of course, has the lion's share of these uh, rare earth minerals within its borders. US equities were weaker overnight as traders sought out safe havens. Uh, bond yields in the US and elsewhere fell. And uh, as we saw earlier, uh, safe haven currencies such as the yen and the Swiss franc were advancing against the US dollar as well. Meanwhile, the Israeli parliament may be dissolved today, forcing new elections as Benjamin Netanyahu has failed to form a cabinet after winning last month's vote. So uh, Israel could be heading back to the polls sooner rather than later, it seems. And elsewhere, Venezuela has released economic data for the first time in four years. Uh, the data showed that its GDP shrunk by a whopping 22.5% in Q3 2018, whilst inflation at the country was said to be running at 130,000%, which is a dreadful number, though the IMF uh, estimates for price rises are considerably higher still. OK, time for some food for thought and something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? 
Concerns about US growth continue to dog the markets. A key recession indicator, the spread between the three month and ten year T bonds, US T bonds that is, fell to a record low yesterday. And meanwhile, forecasters have been trimming their Q2 2019 GDP estimates for the US after weak durable goods data that was released last week. For example, JPM, JP Morgan, that is, has cut its Q2 2019 forecast to growth of just 1%. Now, the chart to the right, sourced from Bloomberg and Well, shows us the, uh, the plot of the spread between the US 3 month and 10 year yields. Uh, and as you can see, that's been trending lower. Uh, the lower it goes, uh, the more prone towards a recession. Uh, the US is thought to be and uh, of course as we can see here that uh, spread has turned negative uh, and uh, yesterday was trading down at minus 8.485 uh, so and the more negative that um, that this uh, indicator goes then again the higher the preponderance or propensity I should say perhaps of the US to a recession and we can see uh, here and here points where it plunged to significantly negative levels uh, and we were in the midst of a recession at those points or soon after those points I should say so food for thought there okay it's risk warning time please do take a moment to read this risk warning as trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business if you're uncertain about those risks or the suitability of leverage products for you then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative and as I say do take the time to read this risk warning thoroughly Thank you for your time today.